Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. This has been a whirlwind of a week. I started a new job this week and it is a lot. I'm not used to going to a job where I have to show up somewhere, not that I'm clocking in, but I just, I got used to the summer. I got used to the flexibility. But don't get me wrong, I, this is one of my, one of my dream jobs. I have many dreams, but this is one of my dream jobs. So I'm really excited that I'm there, that I'm doing what I love, but it's a lot. It's been a little bit challenging trying to figure out what my schedule actually will look like. There are gonna be some days that are gonna be busier than other days. There's gonna be some days when I'm gonna have time to actually work out in the morning. There's gonna be days when I don't have any time at all and all I'm going to do is just fall asleep on my couch. I'm still trying to figure all of that out. With that in mind, I just, I, I don't wanna hold you in suspense. I said that I wasn't gonna weigh in last week, but I weighed in today and the truth hurts. The truth is there, I cannot, you know, run away from it. I have to confront it. I got on the scale and I have gained three pounds. Now, let me say that I was fully expecting to have gained like 10 pounds. I'm not doing keto. I haven't been doing keto for the last three to four weeks, nearly a month now. I haven't had a regular exercise routine. I'm not tracking anything. So I'm kind of eating whatever I want, when I want, how I want. I was actually expecting the number on the scale to be a lot higher. So three pounds, I can deal with. I can deal with those three pounds. I'm gonna get back into my routine and we're gonna get back into the 160s. What do I want my plan to be for the rest of 2020? I don't think that I wanna do keto again. The reason is because for some reason in my mind, keto is a summer diet for me. It's a way for me to get serious, recharge. Um, I just feel like it was just a really perfect chance for me to get back into the mindset of being strict, being healthy. But for me, keto has never been a lifestyle choice. It's not something that I can do in the long run. And I want to, I want my journey to be about the long run, the long haul. It was also very easy to do keto this summer because my friend was also doing keto with me. And as you guys know, he is a chef basically. So he's not here anymore and I am i don't like to cook. So keto becomes kind of monotonous and boring for me. I'm not saying that I'm never going to do keto again, but I am saying that I don't think that's what I'm going to do. Instead, what I'm actually going to do is just track my calories in, calories out, go back to basics. I'm using my Apple watch to basically determine the rough estimation of how many calories I'm burning each day and then I'm gonna track the calories that I consume each day. I think that I can do this because, <laughs> maybe it was just because it was the first week back at work, but I realized that I was accidentally doing uh, intermittent fasting because I would go to work around eight without eating breakfast because I just, I just don't like eating before I have to do a meeting or something like that. And I ended up not eating until four o'clock. I wasn't starving. There was no point in the day where I felt like I was starving, but I realized that that was uh, accidental intermittent fasting. Who'd have thought? What I think though, I don't think I, I wanna even think about intermittent fasting. I don't wanna think about all the rules and restrictions and all that stuff. What I wanna do is go back to the basics, count my calories, do calories in, calories out, weigh myself, try to figure out what that you know uh, basal metabolic rate is and go from there. Kind of like what I did when I started out on this journey, when I started making YouTube videos. In terms of exercise, that's where things get a little dicey. Um, as you guys know, I got pretty used to riding my bike when I was in my previous place. That was because riding your bike was something that people did on a regular basis. I could leave the house and feel safe enough to ride my bike. I had a helmet and everything, but I guess, I don't know, I just felt like it was easier. I am now on the East Coast and space is an issue apparently here. So they don't have, at least where I'm at, a lot of bike paths. And I am trying to figure out what do I do about that? I still wanna ride my bike. 
So I actually looked up and found a bike trail that was kind of like a mountain bike path, as, as you guys can see here. Um, and that, the first time I did it, it was I was kind of disappointed because round trip, like all the way to the end and back, was only about 11 miles. So it's not nothing, but it wasn't, you know, what I'm used to, which as you guys know, I did 50 miles without stopping um, just last month. The good news there though, with that bike trail is that that is literally five minutes from where I work. So what I do now is I keep my bike in my car. I don't have a bike rack but I keep my bike in my car and I drive to work and after work I change and I just go to the bike path. So I get about, you know, a, an 11 mile ride in. So my plan is to do that every Wednesday and Friday, given my current work schedule. Yesterday, I found a bunch of different random paths around where I live, thinking that they were bike paths. They're random weird paths. I, I can't describe it. I, I took some video footage but like there, there were moments where everything seemed great and then there was all of a sudden I was finding myself in the woods and then there's dead ends and then there was this weird bull thing. Like why? Why is that even there? What is that? It was just this random part and the trail ended so I had to turn around and, and all in all I did like five miles yesterday but it was like five miles of meandering through randomness. So. I think I just have to learn what the area has to offer. It's gonna take some time, but the point is, is that I have no excuse for not getting out there, especially before winter. No excuse for not getting out there and, you know, working out, walking. I'm kind of excited because my job actually requires me to be on my feet a lot more often than when I was in the summer. So I actually ended up getting like 10,000 steps a day, which, yeah, that, that's much better than what I was doing over the summer. So I'm hoping that even though my bike mileage will be less than it was, I'm making up for that by doing other things like walking up hills and walking a lot and just being a bit more active during my day to day. All right, well, that is it for me in terms of an update. I will see you guys again next week. Sunday is my new weigh-in day. And I hope that everybody has a fantastic week and you crush all your goals.